Good day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host today, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I welcome you all back to the Monster Train, where today we need to have a try with the Hellhorn with their new friends, the Umbra. Because while our lovely friend Solgard the Martyr here was quite useful, it's now time for the Hellhorn. So the question is, which Hellhorn do we want to use? And frankly, I think the Prince might be better for this. Because he's more the combat person. So, let's just give this a go. Covenant 8, add a copy of the Allied, Star Allied Starter Clan deck card to your deck. So another, so another mortal. Excellent! So what do we get? Fortify, gain armor. Packed morsels, uh-huh, and a pyre chomper. Hmm, okay. Well, I kind of want to start with... Yeah, that one. The one that gives us armor and revenge. Because if he's going to be in the front line, he's going to be getting hit all the time. And that just gives us more benefits. X costs get plus three to their X value when played. Tempting. Apply dazed to the enemy when they enter the pyre room. Your pyre gets minus five attack. I like that. That is a good one. Well, let's get to the game and start off with what we gotta do. But non-boss enemies start with three spikes. Sure. Fine. All right, how are we gonna do this? Well, first up, these are all my monsters, aren't they? On this first turn, great. So do you. Give you a morsel. And then apply you two up there. Next. Just do this. Because I don't want to deal with that. Give you armor. Damage shield. Damage shield. More attack. Perfect. And there's no point summoning you. I don't need the extra energy. Right, hit you. You'll attack, do some damage, but I'm better off then doing that again. That way I guarantee their death. Right. Oh yeah, the spike supplies to everyone, doesn't it? I forget about that. You're gonna duck kill them immediately? Really? Oh, fine, there we go. Glorious. You didn't do much of the slaying, but you certainly got benefits from your revenge. Now then, let's get Horn Break, because that's always a decent spell. And then we can get... Uh... Screw it, I'll go with Mind Collapse. That can do some d damage, I guess. We're then gonna go over here, because we're definitely a... a fighty faction. So what do we get? Life Stealer or the Morsel Maker? You are overpowered. But I would like to try and see our Lord in action. Give something Multi-Strike. Oh, I don't really have anything good to give Multi-Strike. I'm going to give my Morsel Maker 10 attack, and then I'm going to be done. Because the only other thing I can really upgrade are the Stewards, and the Stewards just aren't all too useful yet. At the start at the start of battle, enemies appear on each floor. Not worth it. Alright, we got our first floor. They're good and strong. Right. There's not really much I can help with this yet, because I still I'm going to need to expand the floors a bit. However, I can put you up there and then use this packed morsels. In order to give you a bunch of benefits. Then besides that, I might as well just use these to see what they turn into. Extra energy. Don't think I need that. Int 
Interesting. You only take... What am I call it? Vengeance damage if you actually take damage. I didn't know that. Well, I do now. So... I... The damage shield is awful in this situation, then. Right. So let's... Use you. Give you the damage shield. Get you to kill one of those guys. Get you to kill the other. And then I might as well just summon the train stewards because it's a little extra damage because screw it. Well, then we win. The problem with this particular rut, this particular way of playing has always been the fact that, man, I really should have gone for the X thing, shouldn't I? Ah, the making of a morsel. Oh yes. Oh yes, please. Now then, let's go this way. Because one, the Hellhorned units are just really good. Two, we get an artifact. Demon units get multi-strike. I like it. When you play your 20th morsel unit of the battle, deal 150 damage to enemy units on the floor. On all floors. That's amazing, but I feel multi-strike will be better. So, what do we get now? You give melee weakness, and you have Alpha Fiend. I think the Alpha Fiend will be better, because while you'd be amazing on again with him, it's also the case of you have to be attack before him, which doesn't really work either. So let's go with the Alpha Fiend. Every time it attacks, it gains attack. Ah! Hello, Mr. Historian! What kind of cards do you offer me this time? Hellhorn. Apply Fragile on Multi-Strike. Apply Silence and apply Trample. I'll definitely take the Trample, please. Well, moving on to the Architect. What do you have for this? Enemy units enter with two Rage. Talos is attack attacks every turn and gains armor on Slay. Well, hopefully, she shouldn't be doing any of that. <laughs> Why do you have... Oh, you start with plus two rage, do you? Well, aren't you a little so-and-so? Get 25 armor on a kill. Well, there's no point summoning you, because you die, but... Right, well, the top floor is sorted. Do you get the multi-strike? No. No, you don't get the multi-strike. So it's only like the hell-horned demons that get the multi-strike. Alright, well, I can place you. You're going to take a ton of damage, but... He'll <laughs> two... Deal 2x damage to enemy units, so it does it to all of them. Right, well that's certainly going to be useful. But... Minor. Morsel. And then... Dodge. And then you gain health. Sweet. I just realized we've got an, a demon that gets bonus deals bonus damage on attack, and he has what am I call it? Well, we might as well get you trampling, and we'll see how much damage that does. Yeah. Now then, now I need to summon cannon fodder. Die. 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 Summon the morsels. One of which will be you, and then the other will be you for lifesteal. Then I just need to keep you alive one more round. Okay, let's see. 
You are gonna fully heal by the end of this. Sweet. No point giving you the armor then. Well, I mean, you'll it won't consume all the armor, so... Ah, screw it. Alright, there we go then. Let's see how our Rage Demon does then. Oh, the Rage Demon wins. Well... <laughs> Come on then, Rage Demon, let's see what you can do. Yeah! I can easily imagine you being one of the most powerful things here. Reinforce, consume, double the amount of armor a unit has. Ah! It could be useful in the right circumstance, I doubt it, but... Murderer of crowns. Minus three cost per imp in play. We don't have any. Go over gorger. Game plus, game plus two armor permanently. Hmm. I mean, if I put you at the front instead, you become super tanky for the big beast of it. To, for the big beast. All right, which way do I want to go? I can get... Remove cards... So I can rem start removing the train stewards. Duplicate a card. Give me restore the three health. Empower our spells. Gain money and gain a unit. Honestly, I think I'd like to gain the unit just, just to be safe. Right, what do we get? Branded warrior or the rail beater? I think I prefer the rail beater. But I'm not sure if this getting either was a good idea. Alright, now do I want to give you multi-strike to benefit for more rage? Or yes. Remove consume but cost one money. But cost one. Fine. But then I'm just going to remove that one cost right there. Glorious. Permanent things like that. And then... I'll take double horn bait break. But I'm not going to re-roll anything. Because I know there's a trinket salesman not too far ahead. Things start on each floor. Fine, actually. This time they don't have rage, so... It's not as bad. Plus, they get stunned whenever they reach the top, so... And you're gonna gain so much damage from this, so... Best do that, and then we duck! I'm good! Look at all that lovely bonus damage! Ooh, now then. I'm going to apply the Morsel Maker here. And then we can put the Overgorger here. I just realized I should have summoned the Imp first. This would one have been those rare times where the Imp having bonus damage would have been amazing. Right. Well, let's make ourselves a miner and put him here. So that a little someone can get their lifesteal. I can then just murder you. And screw it, why not? Go with that. This is kind of what you want the... What am I call it? How we want to do this, that you suddenly just become stupid damage. Alright, go. So let's see. Oh. Perfect time. Well, someone's living. Especially because when hitting them once apparently kills them. All right then, well, you get to snack. The rail beater down here just exists. And then dies. And then you. You s I'm not even losing HP, really. Oh, I can actually put another morsel up here. 
Oh, I missed that. Whoops. Well then. I got my bonus money. Deal 5 damage and apply Rage 7. Ooh, okay. Or send a unit and apply 2 days. I'm gonna take the Dark Deal. I believe that could help. Consume. Gain X. 2X uh, energy. That's the new one we unlocked. Well, this way I get the trinket merchant. More money and more just a free trinket. So let's see what the free trinket is. Enemy units get minus one attack. Friendly units gain plus two damage on slay. Hmm. Defensive or offensive? When in doubt, defensive. We actually have a lot of offense as it is. Right, what are you? Rage does not decay. <laughs> Friendly units enter with five armor. I don't think there's any point spending the reroll because it will just what am I call it? No trinket is that cheap. So let's move on. Mo non boss enemies gain multi strike. I'm taking it simply because I have faith in our ability to kill. Um, what do I get from these? I get a damage shield. Sweet. Uh, how much damage do you guys do? 14, 14, 14. Hmm, more concerning than I thought. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you actually die. Don't. No, you don't! You actually gain armor. Why? I mean, in theory, if I do that to you, you're gonna gain even more, but then I can't summon you. Who cares? When a unit dies, gain armor. Fine. Actually, no, not fine. I do want the minor. Right. Oh, yeah, you had a life steal. So all you needed to do was just make sure you lived. Perfect. Winged will fe fear the hellhorn. Yeah, I'm most certainly sure they will. If I do that, you don't gain as much. Then again, if I also do that, I think... Yeah, you definitely don't gain as much. So do that instead. Right, you are losing a bit this turn because of this. Should have done that first, fool that I am. You die, but you gain stuff. Screw it, I might as well. Or should I? You don't. Yeah, screw it. There we go. I need to get the overgorgeous and lifesteal. I can give you more rage. Ha! That sounds amazing. Yeah, do five damage and gain more rage. There we go. Excellent. Okay. Well, because of those annoying things in the back there, they are definitely getting one of those. There is no point summoning a train steward. They will just die. Well, according to this, you live. So... Mostly because he's got sweep, so he will be killing things. So if I just double your armor and then do that, you just basically don't take any damage. Jesus, that damage racks up quickly. Tempered Talisman. Is that the plus three spell power? Yes. Yes, it is. All right. What imp do we get? Mm. Imp Scholar, return a random thing. Descend friendly and enemy units on this floor. Tempting. But I think I'll take the damage shield. Damage shield seems better. Right. Heal, caverns, duplicate. Remove cards, upgrade soldiers, money. 
take you. Remove our train stewards. Because they just don't do anything anymore. And if we want cannon fodder, well, we have morsels. Upgrade something with quick. Well, if anything should be upgraded with quick, it's probably Mr. I do don't bonus damage on him. <laughs> Give something bonus health. Probably Mr. Lifesteal Gorgia. Plus 10 attack. Oh, why not you? You just get bonus damage. Alright, what do we get for the roll reroll? Endless. Endless Scholar Imp. Constant... Return a random consumed spell. I can work with that. That means I could, like, permanently get rekindle every single turn. I like it. I like it a lot. I then want to give you more health, just so you can survive to get your bonus damage. And then I'm just gonna go. Alright! Arceus, Darkness Incarnate. Alright, Arceus! Can you face me? Arceus will summon lo looming and shattering shards. Looming shards. Incant. Apply plus one energy to spells in hand. E ew. Hellborn harvest. In other words, when you kill something. What do you define as killing something? Does me eating my units count as you killing? Alright, well let's just get the gorger up here. Along with the alpha. There we go. Packed morsels. I like it. Let's do it. Because I can summon the morsel maker. Pack the morsel. Unpack the morsel. I'm going to do that. Your spells, right? Yeah, in cat. Oh, well. I just don't want to deal with the extra enemy. This thing's got sweep, but it's only got three attack. So thanks to the five armor, we will live. Or my my allies should live. Oh, whoops, I did spells wrong then. Well, I can do that to give you your bonus damage anyway. You're gonna get the double attacks, sweet. Should I just play you down here? Might as well, actually, because that means he'll be able to probably help finish things off. What's that? Uh, when you kill something. Well, you're not doing that. Kindle. Imp. Packed morsels. I don't know if I should use that now. Because if I use that now, it means on the next turn I have the chance to gain the morsels. But screw it. You probably want a beast in some regard, so... I suppose then I can just cast a couple of spells on you. Although, no, I shouldn't. Okay, that's a spell one. Perfect. Well, let's do the usual thing. Place you at the front. Cannon Fodder Imp is actually very good. Very good indeed. There we go. We actually have quite the team here now. I like this team setup. That's the killing one, right? Yeah, it is. Right. You're taking no damage. That's really annoying. If I reinforce, then I lose the chance to get my bonus damage. Right.
Well, you are about to take quite a bit of damage. I actually need to summon the imp right there so that it dies. If I horn break you, I can't get him extra damage. So... And then... Screw it, might as well just mind collapse you. There we go. Alright. Right. Summon my scholar. Get my rekindle. Let's make ourselves a miner. Suppose I can put a damage shield on you. That should help you last a bit longer. Right. Let's see this in its full glory. Murder my trade beater. Okay, you didn't murder. But you enabled him to be able to murder because Jesus hell. Right. Just go. Whack. Morsels are just so good. They really are. The morsels are just so good. Another Kindle. Yes, please, actually. Because getting another Kindle means I can get even more. Well, not really, but what do we get then? Health, magic, caverns, trinket, trinket merchant, money for trinket merchant. How many trinkets do I need? Gain seven energy on the first turn of battle. Honestly, not bad. When you play your third card, draw one to c draw one. Drawing has actually screwed me over more than it's ever helped me. So I'll take seven ember on the first round of combat, because then I can guarantee you summoning all the monsters if I have to. Then, what's better? Another multi-strike to work with the rage and everything, or gaining more rage. Definitely a third attack. Right, what trinkets you got? At the start of battle, summon a morsel miner on each floor. Okay. Morsel units enter with one damage shield. I don't think I need that because I've got the, the, the plus five armor. At the start of turn, add a random imp unit to hand. I think I'd rather have the morsel miner because that does... Because oh. Morsel Miners are good. Alright, what do we get? When non-boss enemies move up a floor, they heal. And you got the thing granting multi-strike. But you don't have the thing dealing bonus damage. What's after this for me to be able to use my money on? Merchant of Magic. Trinkets. Steel. Fine. Screw it. I think there's a hell vent. Yeah, uh, no. There's pyre remains if I feel I take too much damage, and there's a hell vent, and I can also go the other way. So. I feel maybe I should just summon you on the bottom. But no, that removes the chance to have him benefit from the double attacks. Well, I can at least do this. There's no reason not to do that. And then I can just use my morsels and decide what belongs where. So, yeah, you get all the damage. Let's go. Nommy noms. Big nommy noms. Um. Right. First, rekindle. Next, scholar imp. I got the morsels, not the other one. Whatever, I can deal with morsels. I don't actually need the energy. This turn. Although the fact you're probably gonna more than likely reach the top is concerning. Right. Okay. Well, you're taking a fair bit of damage, but I need to give you a bit more damage in, or in order for you to kill things. 
You're doing. You're taking nothing, so I sh expect as much. You're gonna murder both of them. Well, either way, first things first, I suppose. I should. I don't want to summon the infants up on you because it avoids you getting damage. That kills you. And then if I summon another one, it also kills, but then he won't get bonus attack. I'm not actually sure if summoning you is going to help, but... No. Not particularly. Well, you need some damage either way, so let's work on that basis. Right. Just cast it, because why not? Right, our tire's about to take a little bit of damage, but... Luckily, not all too much. Well, I say not all too much. That was a lot more than I'd hoped. You're dead. Yeah, I thought you might be. Well, not much else I can do this particular turn, so... All three things die. Perfect. Even if you are taking some damage. Although I'm not sure if I want you to take some damage, so... I can play that at the front to avoid you taking more damage than you need to. Right. I mean, I might as well use that so I've got more chance to get it. Okay. I should probably just remove your, you know, double, da double damage guy. There we go. Give you this. This is going to hurt him more than it will probably help, but... Yeah, hitting you for 5 to 8 damage, I think, will hurt you more than help you. Because that means you can only take... What would it be? 3 hits from him before he kills you? Yeah, let's just end there. Beat up. Kill my... Kill my him. Then, if I summon the imp there. Oh, you have trample, so that doesn't even really help all too much. Hmm, concerning. I might need to start feeding you some morsels up there. Suppose if I give you a damage shield, that should... Oh, that makes us win. One damage shield, guys! It's all it takes! Apparently. Marvelous and glorious. Well, move an enemy to the unit and give it foot to, and give it ten armor, or apply foot. I'll take March of Shields. I like March of Shields. Plus one space on this floor, or feast. Probably the Crucible extension, honestly. Actually. Right. Do I want to upgrade my magic and duplicate, or do I want to heal something and just guarantee health? How much of a cocky bastard am I? I kind of want to go for the spells just for the chance to, you know, remove the consume, but it's also not all that useful. Screw it. Health is probably going to be more useful in the end. So, remove the train stewards that do absolutely nothing. See what they offer in the trinket shop. Gorge abilities trigger an additional time. Don't really have a use for that. And then just upgrade the pyre. Then here we have quick damage shield. Oh, if only I could give it to you. Honestly, giving you damage shield might not be bad. There we go. But honestly, superpowering the, the pyre just for safety isn't a bad idea either. Quick. What would benefit from quick? Not really particularly much. Actually, maybe you. Just for the extra one damage hell of it. No. I'm not that silly. Give it to the Crucible Collector. 
Just so that they gain their extra stuff. And then plus 10 damage. Might as well give it to you. You're actually going to do stuff unlike the rest. Alright, Mr. Seraph. Which Seraph are you? You are the purple one. Enemy friendly units enter with Sap 3. Ew. Alright, we got the multi-strike enemies, and we got you that gain 10 armor when something dies. Great. Well, I can at least just start off by doing this. I don't care if you gain armor. Apply you at the front to help beat down this guy. Right. Gorge. Minus one sack. You apply sap whenever you move. Hmm. I don't think I like you. You're dying. How the peck are you dying? I don't know. I'm not questioning it. What do I benefit more from? Shield or morsel? Armor. There we go. Okay, I didn't realize there was that many things at the bottom. I should have paid more attention. Um, how are there so many of these fucking things? I'm just glad I stunned the, py the pyre at the top. 11, 11, 11, 11. 22, 44, 66. And then a 9 on top. Yeah, I've got no way to help you. The Gorger cannot be allowed to die. So let's give him a damage shield. Kill one of the bastards attacking twice. And then you live. Barely. Perfect. And you're going to eat. Meaning you are going to life steal. I have no choice but to let you take some... De take some... Hits. Um! I think I'm screwed thanks to this fucking sap. Jesus Christ. You're actually gaining health now. Cool. Perfect. That's what we need to see. I need the floor expansion so I can help this floor more. Sap, you apply way too much. You know what? You take some damage and get some rage. How am I gonna do this when he's just going and no damage, and no damage, and no damage? You gain armor. You're also the one that gains armor, so no matter what, one of them's gaining armor. Great, fine. Exta expand the floor. Gain the armor. Gain the armor. What am I supposed to do there? What the fuck was that? 
Imp in a box. Consume. Add two random imps to your hand. Fine. Rage gains a plus additional attack. Engine upgrade. Minus one space. Plus one energy. Ooh, I actually like that. Deal three damage when the back to the back of your enemy unit when the unit is eaten. Didn't I see that before? Primordium. You unlock the exiled champion of this clan. You can now choose to start runs with this champion and their starter deck. Just what the fuck am I meant to do in that situation? You know what? Fine. Let's have a look at Primordium, considering it, I've, I've already lost and it hasn't been all too long. So how does Primordium work? Who the hell is Primordium? Primordium. 